Ladies and gentlemen, that is Kelly, Christine, and Derek. Give them a hand. Yes. We're glad you're here. Christmas in the city. This is the pre-show. You are in the right place. Um, it's good to see everybody here. I mean, what are you going to be doing? Watching the Panthers? So this is a good place to be. Uh, watching them lose again. But listen, I want to introduce you to the next form of entertainment for you during our pre-show. Uh, this guy right here is Mark Cruz. He is internationally known for playing that double neck guitar and you are in for a treat. Uh, he comes to us today all the way, well he's been with us for two weeks, all the way from Orlando, Florida. He has been sharing his gift with us. We are privileged and pleased to have him with us and you're going to enjoy the next few minutes as he takes us all the way up to the start of this year's Christmas in the city. Mark, it's a privilege to have you. Welcome Mark Cruz to the stage, ladies Thank and you, gentlemen. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. Thank you, folks. Thanks a lot for being here. Thanks a lot for having me. Can we hear it one more time for Christine and Kelly and Derek? They've been absolutely fantastic every night. Every night. Um, it's, it's really, really good to be here. This is my third time being at Christmas in the city, and it's just such a privilege to get to come back and to get to work with the cast. And it's, it's awesome. You're really in for a treat. But first, you have to suffer me, this guy. So this is a double neck guitar. It's pretty funny looking, and it's designed where you're supposed to play one neck like you play a regular guitar, and then switch to the other neck and play that like you play a regular guitar. Now, the way you get a note out of the guitar is you press down with the left hand and you pick with the right hand, right? But if you listen, I'm gonna get that same note just by pressing down with the left hand. That technique, that's called a hammer-on. The reverse of that, when I take my finger off the strings, is called a pull-off. So we have hammer-ons and we have pull-offs. And between those two techniques, we can make entire melodies with just the left hand. And then we can bring the same idea over to the right hand And this song is called Lose the Shoes. Thanks a lot, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, I appreciate it. Yeah. All right.
right, I'm gonna sing one for you. I've never sang a song at Christmas in the city before, and you're about to find out why. And I'm hopefully just kidding. Hopefully. We'll see. Over the past 12 years, I've released four full-length instrumental guitar albums, and this new album that I have with me now is the first vocal album that I've done, and this is a song from it. My wife and I, Nora, she and I used to live in the Charlotte area, and Mark mentioned that we live down in Orlando now, but from 2014 to 2018, we lived here in Charlotte, and that the city is kind of baked into this song. I started writing it right when we were thinking of moving from Florida, and now we live in Florida again, so go figure. And the song is about getting over the things in our lives that keep us from loving one another, the things like fear and our own egos, worries about money, worries about what other people think of us. And it's also about how God seems to put exactly the right people into our lives at exactly the right times to help us make those changes, become more loving individuals. And I feel like my wife, Nora, has been one such person in my own life. God dropped her into my path when I was right in the middle of a five-month tour, and I came back four months later, and I married her. And it completely messed up my plans. So this song is called Great Wife Shark. Oh, my dear, I can't stay here no more. Never been one to stay out of the sun, but I can't be confined to the shore. This old car's got room. When I leave this guitar for I let go of you. So let's take a bite of those Queen City sides. Maybe the stars and the moon. Wrote it in a letter, but I could have said it better if I had another couple of days. Said you are the reason for love songs. You sure to make them easier to play. Might have lost all of that steam Worry about the money and what everybody thinks But you bring me back to myself And I don't care I don't care if it sells We're gonna throw that line at hold Do you mind if I jump in? You taught me to love And my father taught me to swim We'll throw that line at hold Gonna throw that line again he taught me to love, and my father taught me to swim. Oh, my dear, I still forget the sound. But it's clear when I hear, and it's near, and it's dear, and it's clear when you're around. And I've seen God in the darkest of places, and kindness and faces, and kindness of no face at all. In the bars, in the subway cars, how is and bow is and darling, is there in your heart? There in your heart. And we'll throw that line at home. Do you mind if I jump in? You taught me to love, and my father taught me to swim. We'll throw that line at home. Gonna throw that line again. You taught me to love, and my father taught me to swim. So on the album, we've got this great mandolin solo right here. It's really, really awesome. And my wife Nora, she she plays the mandolin, but unfortunately, she's she's not on this tour with me. She had to work. Now you see. My wife, Nora, and I, we both work from home. And she does office management work for a therapist. And then right on the other side of the wall from her office, I do music all the time. So part of me just wonders if she's not on this tour because she wanted to find out what our house sounds like without a guitarist in it. So long story long, you don't get Nora's mandolin solo tonight. You get mine. So believe it or not, it sounds better on the recording. 
Well, I was 17, and my heart first broke like a promise to fall or a web. I was 23, and it still wouldn't start. I was beat like a heart. I said, this old car's got wrong. Let's see what this engine can do. And the tour that was born to be weary and worn brought me back to the bay and went through all that line and home. Well, do you mind if I jump in? You taught me to love and my father taught me to swim. Went through all that line and hope. Go through all that line again. You taught me to love and my father taught me to swim. That's Nora's part, but she isn't here. But da ba da ba da. Thank you, folks. Thank you very much. Thanks a lot. I appreciate it. Oh, thank you for putting up with my shenanigans and listening to folksy pop songs about my feelings. I appreciate it. So it's music lesson time. Who wants to learn something about music? That's usually about the reaction I expect. But what I'm going to teach you to do tonight is how to, how to tune a guitar, OK? So it's actually more I'm just going to tell you how to tune a guitar. But the way that you tune a guitar, you tune each string to a note. And those notes are E, A, D, G, B, E. And you can always remember this as Eddie Eight Dynamite, Goodbye, Eddie. If you learn one thing tonight, let it be Eddie Eight Dynamite, Goodbye Eddie. And that's standard guitar tuning. It's not normally the way that I tune a guitar. I use what I call dad-gad tuning, which is D-A-D-G-A-D. -A -A and it's this absolutely beautiful tuning. It's really nice. But even in that fancy tuning, I can't always get the notes that I want to play in the shapes I want to play them. I want to play these three notes. And I want to play them fast, but they're kind of crowded right there. So I'm going to tune my guitar a little differently. I'm going to take this string and bring it up a little bit. And I'm going to take this string and bring it down a little bit. And it's going to make it so that those three notes that I had like that, now they're shaped like this, which is much more comfortable. I could just do that all night, very easy. The downside is it takes my normal pretty tuning and it makes it sound like this. But you're gonna have to trust me because I'm a professional. It's instrumental guitar music. We gotta do everything we can to make it exciting. So remember, how before I told you if you press down, you have a hammer on? And when you pull off, you'd usually have a pull off. You get another note when you take your finger off the string. Well, that bandana is muting the open strings because what they, they didn't really sound that good anyway, right? So now I'm only going to get the notes that I push down with my left hand. And then everything else is just muted. And if I did my job right, we should have a wonderful Christmas classic. I'm going to have you uh, snap along with me at the beginning. If you don't go through the entire song, it's okay, but if you do make it through this whole song, bonus points. So it's right here. Yeah, very good.
Thanks a lot. Thanks a lot. Would anybody, um, would anybody like to hear Amazing Grace? I'd love to play Amazing Grace. And I'm going to go ahead and uh, finish, finish my portion with this. And I just I wanted to say thank you so much. This is our last night of Christmas in the city, and it's, it's really been such an honor to come back. And it's, it's been wonderful to get to play for you. And I'm really looking forward to the show tonight. But I, I did want to play Amazing Grace because, you know, maybe it's not, not a traditional Christmas song, but I really think it belongs in every single season because grace is relevant every day and to all people because we all see grace on a regular basis, whether we realize it or not. Remember that grace is when we receive and we didn't do anything to earn what we receive. Grace is when the sun rises in the morning and warms your skin. Grace is the air in your lungs. Grace is when the creator of the universe sends his only son to redeem all of humanity. And when we show love, when we show kindness to other people, that's us passing grace on. When we, when we forgive, regardless of if there's been an apology, we do that, that's, that's us showing grace, passing God's grace on to others. And when we do that, we're bringing beauty to a broken world. So this is amazing grace. <laughs> 